here is your macro trading edge for the Swiss franc CHF. So as I've been going over in a lot of my content, I've spoken about how we're entering this new economic cycle or getting near it, right? Where we had this period of boom and now we're heading into bust with an economic downturn. Now, when we have those bust periods, people are running away from riskier assets. They're liquidating their stock positions. They're liquidating cryptocurrencies, you know, commodity positions, all of those riskier assets, right? And then once they've liquidated, they want somewhere safe to put their money, right? They're looking for safe havens. Where are the safe havens? Now, one of those is Switzerland. Now, for many, many years, Switzerland has been known as a stable economy on a uh, economic level, on a financial level, but also on a geopolitical level, right? They don't get involved in a lot of these geopolitics. You know, they don't get involved in war, which is why they are seen as a safe haven. So obviously, what's the currency that relates to Switzerland? The Swiss franc, CHF. Now, in times of economic downturn, you can go and back test this and check, um, you know, um, look left at the charts and go and look at historical events where we've seen financial crashes. You know, most recent ones, obviously, COVID, 2008, 2009 crisis, the European banking crisis, all of those. You will see the big waves that we had into the CHF. And that was a result of markets and big players, you know, flocking, trying to seek safe haven. So with us heading towards this economic downturn, right, with all these red flags that we're seeing, markets are again going to be seeking safety. And where do you think they're going to be putting their money in CHF? Now, when this focus really comes into gear, really kicks into gear, this is where we have a strong power play, a fundamental theme, I call it, okay? A theme always kicks the asset back into gear, kicks it in the right direction. So what you may start to observe with a lot of these uh, Swiss pairs, you know, on the charts, Aussie Swiss, CAD Swiss, NZD Swiss, GP Swiss, Euro Swiss, all these Swissy pairs, Dollar Swiss. <laughs> well, Dollar Swiss is a bit of a tricky one because dollar's also a safe haven. But with all the other ones, particularly the riskier currencies that are li linked to riskier assets, for example, Australia, is uh is known as a riskier currency because it's heavily uh exposed to commodities same as cad with oil same as nzd you know dairy commodities these are all commodity linked currencies so they're riskier so with all of those once this theme really kicks into gear and we see those flights into safety with this economic downturn we should start to see a trend to the downside with aussie swiss with gp swiss with nzd swiss cad swiss all those will start to trend to the downside now what i'm talking about this fundamental theme and obviously being kicked you know in the right direction is obviously we're trending to the downside now we may have these technical pullbacks okay technical all these technical gurus that say the technicals first fundamentals follow shut up so where we have these technical pullbacks right people taking profits on these shorts okay short aussie swiss short at cad swiss all that flows in swiss franc technical pullbacks then it gets kicked back into gear by the macros okay oh we're into this economic downturn we, we've got this uh, bust so let's buy Swiss franc again. So that will just trend to the downside. So we have these pullback, technical pullbacks, kicked back into gear by the underlying macro. So we're sort of trending to the downside. And that's being driven by that power play, that, that key fundamental theme, fundamental flows, okay? It's fundamental flows, following the flow of money. And the flow of money, as we know, the underlying issue is that economic downturn and people seeking safety. So money into, uh, into, the, into Switzerland, into the Swiss economy, flows into the Swiss franc.